Hi guys, and welcome back to Blind Strike Exotics. I'm John, and today we have another unboxing. Um, I th I'll have one more next week. I have two females uh, that didn't make it in the shipment, which is a funny story that I will tell you as I'm opening the other box. Um, but I am full up now in my adult female rack, so I cannot fit any more in there. And I'm also filled up in my grow out rack. So um, I think I'm done for the season, unless I decide to shift any projects around and sell any that I currently own. Um, so this may be one of the last two unboxings that I have for the year until um, next season. So let's get into the unboxings. Alright, so the first one we got here is a little guy from RJ's Reptiles. Um, he's a male that I have, so I'm trying to get into the highway freeway project. Um, I have a highway male and one of these other boxes I have two females which are awesome, which won't breed this year, but I'll be excited for next year. Um, but I also love the leopard ivory combo. I have an ivory female, and I was going to breed her to my highway male this year to try to get some more highways. Um, but I found this guy for a pretty good price, and I'm thinking I just may pair him up to her. So that way I'm either getting ivories or leopard ivories out of the combo. Um, but he's a leopard ivory. Um, let me see if I can get him. The cool thing about the leopard gene with the ivories is it actually brings out some of the pattern um, which most things can't do when you have an ivory and an ivory is a super yellow belly um, you can see some of the banding here going across his back and their head definitely shows a lot more pattern than an ivory would he's I would guess around three four hundred grams right now and in person, you can definitely see the the pattern going down his back, um, which is what the leopard brings out in that ivory combo. Um, the leopard highways are also awesome looking snakes, and that is something that I'm hopefully going to start producing in the next year and a half or so. But for this year, um, I just I think I'm just going to try to hit. Um, production on more leopard ivories, which. I mean, they're if you see them as babies, they're beautiful. They're really bright. There's a lot of purple, a lot of yellow. They definitely fade out as they get older, but they're still pretty snakes. Um, so that's him. Um, I'm going to get him put away and settled down, and we'll jump on to the next unboxing. All right, next I am going to unbox two big breeder females. And I'll also tell you the funny story while I'm doing that. Um, so I bought four girls from Safari Pets, I think, Troy, um, last week. And he tried to ship them all out to me yesterday. Um, as you can see, only two of them got here. Um, he said while he was on his way to FedEx to drop them off, um, the girls in the other box, one of them had a huge blowout. Um, he said it was... There was a uh, liquid and poo leaking out of the side of the box um, when he got to the FedEx location, which obviously at that point he couldn't leave the box like that for shipment for 24 hours. Plus, I don't even know if FedEx would take a box in that condition. Um, so he had to bring them home um, and put them back, and he's going to have to reship them to me next week. But it's crazy. I guess it happens. I mean, I've had them... Uh, especially these bigger females come to me like that where they the box is soaking wet and it's probably something where they just took poop in the middle of uh, shipping. I can't do anything about it at that point. So this is a big Killer Blast female. Um, I don't know if you saw my other videos with my Lemon Blast, which is a pastel pinstripe. This is a super pastel pinstripe. She is beautiful. She is a big girl. All these snakes that I got from Safari Pets, they are older, more mature. Um, and she's actually a really good size. I don't know if any of these actually bred this year because she looks pretty big and pretty healthy for uh, 
for this time of the year. She's really pretty. I'll have to in another video show you the the difference between the Lemon Blast and the Killer Blast, or I guess Super Blast. Killer Blast? I don't know. I'll have to look into that. I don't know if it's Killer or Super. I've seen Super Pastel listed as Killer or Super. Um, either way, it's a Super Pastel in a pinstripe. You can see the pinstripe a little bit here, going up the sides, but it definitely fades it out compared to what the Lemon Blast looks like. She looks like she's in a pretty good mood for taking a long journey here from Florida. So let me uh, get her put away and then we'll get the other female out. All right, speaking of blowouts, I um, took uh, the killer blast there in the reptile room and I weighed her real quick and I um, went to figure out and just you know, double check that she was a female, which I'm sure she is, but I do it anyways. And she exploded all over the floor, <laughs> peed and pooped everywhere. Um, luckily it's a cement floor and a laundry room. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I guess just with this, with this group of snakes here, they are all just well hydrated and well fed. This girl, if I remember correctly, I think she is a sterling. Hopefully she doesn't make a mess either. He had two of these females up for sale. And they both looked a little different. Um, chose this one because she had kind of a little bit of a reduced pattern compared to the other one that was that he had listed. So Sterling is a cinnamon in a super pastel. Um, cinnamon has a pattern that is very close to a normal ball python. You can see it right there on her side. Um, they're just a little darker. Super Pastel, um, you would think it makes it lighter, um, and it does a little bit, but as you can see, it kind of erases all of the pattern going down the back. Um, it's a really neat trait. You can see through the side there, the kind of the pattern kind of disappears, it dissolves all the way through until you get up to her upper half, and then it's pretty, let's get her in there. Pretty easy to see. Then as soon as you start moving down her back, it kind of disappears. So she is really pretty. She's also a big girl. I think both of these girls are around 2,000 grams and they're older and very calm. So I'm going to put her away. Um, hopefully she doesn't make a mess on me like the other one did. And then we'll get to the last two, which I'm really excited about. All right, these last two are from Tom Harbin. Um, I actually, this is my second purchase from him and I... I've had a great experience with them both times. And look, he has some pretty cool bags too, with his own logo on it. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that. I'll maybe ask him how he, uh, who he uses to do that. It's pretty neat. So these girls are going to be used in my highway, freeway, and uh, pavement projects, which is a gravel asphalt. Um, these girls are super rare, um, they're about 500 plus grams. There's a, probably a pretty good chance that they'll be ready to breed for next season, not this year, but 2021 going into 2022. And they are both super gravels. Um, It helps when you're breeding through the yellow belly complex um, to not have to worry about whether or not they are actually yellow belly. Um, you know, if I breed her, if I breed these girls to highways, um, I'm getting super gravels or highways. If I breed them to freeways, Oh, she's got some shed on her. She must have just shed. I wonder if she shed in there. Um, if I'm breeding them to freeways, I can get pavements. I can get highways because there's a yellow belly in there. Look how pretty she is. Those are really cool patterns. I've never actually seen one of these in person. 
really muted. It looks it almost looks more yellow on the camera than it does in person. Um, but she's actually a good size too. And let me see if I can get the other one out here. So I can hold them both up, see what they both look like. I actually don't know if they're siblings or not. I guess it wouldn't matter because they're both females. It's not going to be breeding them together. But let me see if I can get number two out of here. And show you them side by side. So these girls are going to be like a huge part of my breeding plans for next year. My goal is to look for a male. That's a freeway, a good freeway combo. Um, and what that'll do is it'll allow me to produce um, pavements. And pavements are the gravel asphalts. They are super rare right now. Hopefully in 18 months they still are super rare. Um, kind of one of those things that take the collection to a new high. Which I'm really excited about. These girls are real, they're really big. Hopefully they're good eaters and start packing on the food. Um, because they are going to be a big part of what I'm doing down here in the future. Awesome. I'm really excited about these two. I'm going to keep very close eyes on them as I uh, go out the next year, year and a half. Alright guys, that's it for today. I'm going to get these two beautiful little girls put away. Um, as you can see, this one is actually being a ball python. And this girl is just kind of wondering what's going on. Um, it's actually really neat when they do this. I don't have a lot of ball pythons that actually ball up like this. Most of them either sit there like this girl or they try to run away. Um, so that's it for today. I will get those other two breeder females in probably early next week. I'll make an unboxing of that. Hopefully all the shed comes off of her. She looks like a mummy. Um, other than that, that's it for today. Um, please remember to like and subscribe and comment below if you ha have any questions or if you have any comments. Thank you and take care.